Good morning, Capital. I'm Oscar Pecan. Today is Friday, January 14th, 2022, and these are your Coug TV News headlines. First, Capital High School is hosting the Robotics Inner Districts on Saturday, January 15th. 28 teams will be here to compete for a position at the Washington State Competition. The Capital High School teams are already in the running in favorites for the state championship. Check out the robot actions this Saturday starting at 10.30. Next, do you have a job or do you play a sport outside of school like karate, snowboard, horseback riding, dance, or club sports? The yearbook wants to feature you. Email photos of your job or community sport to Mrs. Beers at abeers at osd.wednet.edu. Finally, lunch today is turkey gravy with mashed potatoes, corn, and your choice of fresh fruit. It's good to see you all back again. Today, January 14th, is National Dress Up Your Pet Day and National Hot Pastrami Sandwich Day. Now, turning to our top story. We are on a Coug time schedule today, and we are heading into a three-day weekend. Please be safe and responsible this weekend, Cougars, and take a moment to remember the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Next, are you interested in joining the Boys and Girls Golf Teams? There will be a meeting today during Coug time. All students interested in turning out for this golf, should, golf this spring should attend, A5 at 10.40 a.m. Next, there is still time to register for IB testing. There's a $70 registration fee and a $157 exam fee. Testing in English could earn you up to $9,000 worth of credits for just one test. Now, it's time for Sports with Miles. What's up, Cougars? This is Miles with your sports report. The boys' basketball team went 2-1 and one in the past week with wins against Peninsula and Central Kitsap. They took down Peninsula in a nail-biter 47-45 and blew out Central Kitsap 68-53. Finally, both basketball teams have games tonight against River Ridge. The boys' team is at home and the girls are on the road. Back to you. Next, Capitol High School needs families to host two Japanese students for a weekend in May. You don't need to know any Japanese to host. Twelve families have stepped up so far. There are eight spots left. Please see Mrs. Katzer in D9 for more information. And finally, our continuing series on Kook TV in honor of those who lived the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here is someone to know. Dr. Martin Luther King's life is a testament to the fact that one person can change the world. King was such a gifted student that he skipped grades 9 and 12 before enrolling in 1944 at Morehouse College at 15 years old. The Civil Rights Movement, largely due to the leadership of Martin Luther King Jr., led to significant legislative change in the United States. King received over 50 honorary college degrees as well as several prestigious awards during or because of the 13 years that he was active in the Civil Rights Movement. But the end is reconciliation. The end is redemption. The end is the creation of the beloved community. It is this type of spirit and this type of love that can transform opposers into friends. It is this type of understanding goodwill that will transform the deep gloom of the old age into the exuberant gladness of the new age. It is this love which will bring about miracles in the hearts of men. The last of the six steps of nonviolent social change is reconciliation. Nonviolence seeks friendship and understanding with the opponent. Nonviolence does not seek to defeat the opponent. Nonviolence is directed against evil systems, forces, oppressive policies, unjust acts, but not against persons. Through reasoned compromise, both sides resolve the injustice with a plan of action. Each act of reconciliation is one step closer to the beloved community. For this last week, your challenge is to think of someone you usually don't get along with. Find a common interest or cause to have a friendly discussion about. Work to be kind, no matter their response. Well, that's all for today's broadcast. Make it a good morning, Capital. Thank you for watching Coog TV. Next, the Pledge of Allegiance. You may now stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.